We're gonna climb to the top. No way. I made it. Hey guys, I'm Sarah and this is Paul. Together we love adventuring and finding good food. After an amazing hiking adventure in the Smoky Mountains, we're back home in Florida. We're headed to Ponce Inlet to climb some steps to an epic Florida view. We are back in Florida and it is a beautiful day. It's like 75 degrees outside. And it's the middle of winter. I mean, you can't beat that. We love Florida. Yeah, we had a ton of fun <laughs> up in the Smoky Mountains, but it was a little bit too cold and we were kind of missing palm trees. So we were actually back home and figured we would just maybe explore our backyard. So we really love Ponce Inlet. It's kind of a place that we've come to a lot over the years, but there's always something new to explore. For example, this lighthouse you see behind us is something we haven't done too many times, like maybe once or twice when we first met, yeah. and we're so excited to see it again. Actually, I climbed this when I was just a little kid, so this is gonna be <laughs> a little nostalgic. And so to get here, oh, it was kind of a cool ride. We went over the bridge and we saw really some beautiful houses. There's like some really nice houses out here. Mm -hmm. And I saw a lot of construction too. So I don't know if people are moving into the state. I think they are. Yeah. So there's actually also a museum here. So I think we're going to hit the museum and then later get up inside the lighthouse and see what the view looks like. That's going to be awesome. So let's go check it out. We don't need uh, bracelets or anything? No, we're not getting okay. wristbands now just because okay. of COVID. So okay. you guys are all set. Thank right? you. Thank You're you. welcome. Thank you. We're in. So to come here, it's only $6.95 a person, which is actually pretty cheap for what you get. You get to go up inside the lighthouse, and there's also the museum. The museum are like a bunch of cottages that we're about to go explore, but it looks like an old settlement, basically. It's actually kind of cool. Mm -hmm. You can also make a little donation, which, you know, I think it's probably a good idea to support your local museums. And the other thing is actually it's really hard to find parking in Ponce Inlet, and most of the time uh, it's like all sold out. If you park here, it sounds like you can park the rest of the day. Yeah, it sounds like it. Something to keep in mind. That's pretty awesome. So let's go see what these cottages have. No way. This used to be the bathroom. Look. Wait, can we get in here? No. Didn't Wait, really. uh, I thought you could. Oh, no, you can't. <laughs> it's a privy exhibit, and there are two holes. I don't know what's up with that, but there's like a newspaper. Huh? That's funny. Before indoor plumbing. Yeah. Humans are so interested in toilets and bathrooms. It's so interesting. <laughs> Learning that this place used to be called Mosquito Inlet, probably because there were a lot of mosquitoes back then. And there used to be a lot of shipwrecks that happened, so they built the lighthouse to help prevent that. Look at these old photos. Should we check out one of the houses? so neat to see like how people lived back in the day. I think I might look good in a sailor's hat. I don't know about that dress. <laughs> oh, the fashion of the day? I think bathing suits have changed quite a bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For those race fans out there, there was a lot of racing done in Daytona Beach and Ponce Inlet. There was a, an oval where cars would actually race. And in 1903, the number one auto manufacturer brought a car here and named it Pirate. And it set a speed record of a whopping 54 miles an hour. Woo! What do you think? Can I climb it? <laughs> Are you Spider-Man? Good luck. It's pretty high. Oh my gosh. They added AC units on each level, but that's crazy because back when we climbed it, I remember it was so hot. I mean, you almost just passed out and that's just the way it was. Now there's AC units. <laughs> so apparently right now we're approaching the oil storage house. So way back in the day, 
when lighthouses were not electric, they actually needed oil to run the lanterns. Those are the old lights that used to be used. I can only imagine how heavy that glass is. That's incredible. Okay, let's go see the lighthouse. Oh my God. Let's do it. For real? Yeah, go. <laughs> So the Pontinlet Lighthouse was founded in 1887. It's one of the tallest in the entire country and it's definitely the tallest in Florida. And we're about to go up 203 steps. That's about 175 feet up in the air. And to give you an idea of how big this is, it's 45 feet across at the base. That's really big. There's one and a quarter million bricks in this lighthouse. And it's eight feet thick at the base of the lighthouse. That's crazy. The light can be seen from 20 nautical miles. These are very steep stairs. <laughs> I didn't know what this was. You stay to the right. why people get really nervous here. We saw some people that just couldn't even make it past this part. It's kind of like claustrophobic and also if you're afraid of heights, it's not for you. Good to be back in Florida. And I don't know if you remember from the Smokies, but my knee was killing me. It took a long time to heal. So I'm actually okay climbing all these stairs. It's a good thing too, because it is very high. Oh wow, it is very high up here. Oh, it's pretty windy. If you want to get one of the best views in Ponce Inlet in the Daytona area, come to the Ponce Inlet Lighthouse. This is gorgeous. What's over there? Oh, wow. If you remember from last time, we made a video. That's New Smyrna. So the new Smyrna Jetty is right over there. We actually bicycled there. You can see the channel that like, goes right across. And there's the Ponte Jetty. It's <laughs> crazy windy. Jet skis, boats. Oh, this is gorgeous. 
gorgeous. You could see for miles. This is why we live in Florida. I love this. Traffic jam. Alright, hold on. Oh, it's wow. kind of steep going down. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Wind blown hair, crazy steep. I'm a little nervous to go down. I love this lighthouse. Oh man, guys, we're getting hungry. So we brought the bike, perfect way to explore Ponce Inlet. And we're gonna go grab some fries at, where is it called again? Oh, we found a hidden treasure. <laughs> oh yeah, it's called Hidden Treasures. <laughs> <laughs> and they have really good fries that we enjoy. And it's kind of like, our thing when we explore, we go find some fries. So we're just gonna take our bikes to it and then probably go find a like uh, place to eat it. We're gonna take it to go. Oh yeah, it's gonna be nice. So right by the lighthouse, there's this nice little park that we love to hammock in. It's really peaceful. You can kind of hear the music a little bit from the restaurants. And actually growing up here, I remember coming here with my little day camp. It was so fun. Ah, I love growing up in Florida. So beautiful. Oh, and there's our hidden treasure. We found another lighthouse, a mini one. This time it has food. <laughs> We're gonna go check out the view once he gets the order complete. It's so beautiful. This is what we saw from up above. It's even prettier down here. <laughs> the pelican like swooped down over me. I thought he pooped on me, but he just landed on top of the other pelican. Yes, he Look. did. Now they're fighting. Put our order in and we notice it's actually low tide right now normally the tide goes pretty far up here and this used to be docks that i used to fish off of as a kid and then they just got obliterated by a hurricane crazy remember i caught a red snapper a blowfish of course being before being before vegan. He was vegan. <laughs> It's a tricky little one. Bird better watch out. <laughs> nice mangrove. Very natural. I think our food's probably ready. Let's go get them. There you guys go. Thanks for Thank you. Have a good Thank day. you so much. You too. Mmm, smells good. A windy day. I can see if I can keep my hat. I'm not sure. We're gonna take a really short bike ride, maybe five, ten minutes. Yeah, five and minutes. Go to what is it called again? Uh, Ponce Inlet Preserve. It's kind of a state park over here. It's really pretty. There's a jetty, there's pavilions. 
definitely worth a visit if you're in the Ponce Inlet area. And we can see it from the lighthouse, so we're gonna go find a nice spot to eat our fries. On holidays, this park is normally really busy, but if you can park in one of the parking areas around and then take your bicycle, then it's nice. If you ever come to Ponce Inlet, you'll notice there are a lot of surfers. That's definitely a cool place. That is some right there, actually. The waves break pretty nice because of the jetty. You know you had it all. It's just a way of life. No matter what they say, you know at least you try. You are my universe. You are my space and time. Whatever comes around, you're always on my mind. We got some van lifers. Awesome. Okay. We're this much closer to fries. Oh my gosh. Starting to get really hungry. Hey, you see that? That reminds me of Delray Beach. See the sea grapes? I don't see this view. So the park encompasses all like the jetty out there. The inlet kind of curves in towards the river where we're about to go have our lunch. And then a really nice stretch of beach that maybe we'll get to today. Maybe we'll just have to come back and do another video. We'll see. But, uh, and that's New Smyrna across the way. Hey, I remember huh? that little jetty right there. We rode our bicycles right there in a previous episode. This is a really nice lunch spot. And when it's not as windy, oh, it's so nice. Even in the winter, you can come out here and just like read a book, lay out, play some music. It's really nice. Low tide. Very low tide. There it is. Really, from anywhere in Ponce Inlet, you can see the lighthouse. Beautiful sunset, there's surfers, it's a, a really cool place. But the next episode, stay tuned because it's going to be his birthday celebration and you know we always celebrate his birthday outside. Yeah, if you love adventure, give us a like and don't forget to subscribe and do all those good things. Really we'll appreciate each one of you and we look forward to seeing you on YouTube. See you on the next one. Oh my gosh, there's a kitty cat. We have a shortcut right to the lighthouse. <laughs>